Hello and welcome to Chilly Bee Gaming. I'm Evie and today we're back with some more Indica as part of our Spooky Saturdays playlist. And last time we made it through this mill thing um, with the devil whispering in our ear the whole time and uh, got out here to Ilya who is currently coughing up a lung as we speak. So let's get moving. Where's um, the dog? Yeah. Good question. I haven't heard it for a while. No. Where did the, Listen, the dog go? Listen, I'll help you get to Spasov. Okay. Somehow, Indica was convinced mm. that the Kudets was going Actually, to solve go all way. of her problems. But soon, the voice in her head would disappear, and God. she would return to the monastery as someone who deserves at least forgiveness, if not everyone's love. She thought that years of suffering had been leading her up to this exact moment. I figured out Good what this God. case is. What is it? This is Denisovka, the paint factory. Denisovka. Martha told me about it. She's our iconographer. They make yellow paint in that shed. All right. We're concerned with the paint. Um, Where is everyone? Yeah. There was an explosion. They say everyone was evacuated in one day. Americans, I guess. Very likely. Ah, here we go. What's All this? Day. The unburnt saviour. One more proof of the miraculous power of God's grace. The fire has destroyed everything in the house, but the icon of the saviour was left unscathed. English. All right. I do like finding these little things, and I, uh, I hope you don't mind me finding them. I'm very... Um, Keen to do so, I think it might be worthwhile. Hey, uh, Ilya, you okay, mate? Anything else in here? Or is it just. just nothing? Nothing in this house? Doesn't look like it. Ilya, I'm sorry, mate. Can I. we're very. yep. Yeah, um, can I get through here? Thank you. Okay. Anything over this way? Oh! bench for sitting. I don't really want to sit right now. Can we go in here? Oh, look, we can. Oh, hey, here we go. Have to light the thingy. I don't know what this is. Incense burner? It looks like one of them things that um, I think they swing around in like Catholic churches, I think it is. It's like incense in it. I don't know what it's called. I I'm not Catholic, I'm afraid. So I have no idea. Okay. Anything else? Bench to sit on. Hmm. Where did we... Oh, we can go up there, actually. Is there anything up here? Or is it just... Okay, here we go. I did, um, I did end up going back and checking those other doors, you know, and they all just lead to exactly the same end. I wanted to make sure we hadn't missed anything. It's the completionist within me. Here we go. I think Ilya needs to take a rest. Good God. Okay. Anything else in here that we can collect? Oh. The life of Saint Metropolitan Sinuist? Sinuist? I don't know. Once a demon possessed the hair of Saint Metropolitan Sinuist, his hair began to stand up like twigs on a broom when it was least expected. During his services, Sinuist's mitre would jump up, scaring his parish. No matter how much he prayed, the demon would not let him go. One day, Sinust made two holes in his mitre and tied it to his head with a string so tightly that when he started the liturgy, instead of raising the mitre, his hair burrowed into his head. Since then, Sinust became meek and short-spoken, and the demon had to look for another host. This is how God taught the demon a lesson. All right. I mean, I, I'll take your word for it. No idea myself. Okay, well... Oh, bloody hell, Ilya. Scared the life out of me, man. Um, I think this just goes down to the water by the looks of it. Is there anything else here? Oh, we can go that way. Do you think maybe it's this way? Hmm. We can't... 
can't swim across it because it's cut can we could we no hmm kind of looks like we have to go up and across but I don't I didn't think we could let's just have a look we went in there okay come along Gilead oh here we go can we go in no definitely can't go in there so where did the dog go? Oh. Stairs! There should be a station behind the windmill. Oh yeah, there you go. Hey, hey. Okay. Can't open this, no. Come on, Ilya. Let's go, mate. Can't have you coughing up alone all day, can we? Oh god, the ice is peaky. This way. Come along. Let's yeah. Can we no? Oh my god. Does the ice move far down? Do we maybe have to give a run up at this? Yes, there you go. Won't work with me. Wrong uh, way. I won't make it. Hold on. We'll think of something. I'll sort some out, man. Don't worry. Here we go. There you are. Bloop. Are you coming? Good God, this is desolate. Exactly what we need. Yep. Yeah. Oh, are you just going to go up there? Okay. Up. There we are. Come along, let's go. Okay, that's the yeah. Okay. Come, bitch. Whoa. Why are you standing around? How long can dogs stay underwater, huh? I, I don't, don't know. know. I'd wait for a couple of hours, just to be sure. What's in here? The stairs are broken. We'll have to go through the mill. Oh, I see. So we, we were supposed to go up here, but the stairs are actually broken. Is there anything actually up here? Or is it just... No. Nothing. Never mind. Thought I'd check. Look at that, we even leave little little prints in the snow. Anything in these? No. I think they're just outhouses. We won't um we won't entertain that. Oh dear. Um Should we just hop down? Yes. Ooh. I don't like that dog. That's a dog. Doesn't look like a dog. Oh. Well, alright. Um, How beautiful. But we had this one artist in the clink. He drew his family on the wall with his own ship. They look so lifelike. Lovely. He was like that. With his own poop? Didn't manage to finish the drawing of the daughter, though. Le left her with just one eye. Oh, dear. He got stabbed. Because <gasps> of the stench? No. He, he was drawing on the wall outside. Oh. It was minus 30 degrees. Shit doesn't really stink when it's cold. He got stabbed because, well, it's against the code. What, to draw pictures of your family or to do it in human excrement? It's not a question I ever thought I'd ask. The elevator. That. Okay. Well. Here's the gearing. Planetary gear set by by blocking one of the wheels, you can change the direction of the shaft rotation. All right. Let's just have a little look. I here. guess we should look for an intact cotter. What's this? Broken cotter. Inserting this into the groove between two mechanical parts ensures torque transmission. Fucking work. Nothing works here right now. No. All right. So we need a cotter. Okay. You know, Ilya, you're quite a, a sweary gentleman, are you not? Ah, hold on. Can we grab this? Can we climb up this to get up there, I suppose? Ah, we can. Ha 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 ha. Yes. There you go. What's the hold up? Oh, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Am I taking my time? Good grief. 
be rude, Ilya. Don't be rude. Cotter. Take it. What's this one? Ah, so it's going to be a particular shape. It looks pretty square. And the one we it's have looks cotter. pretty square. A safeguard. It breaks when there's an overload to protect the important parts of the engine. I see. Yeah. There you go. See? Oh! Control Ilya. Okay. Go down. Okay, so maybe. Let's have a look. Aha, here we go. Okay. Down. Going down. Uh, okay, this way. Come on then, Ilya. Sorry that took me so long to figure out. <laughs> okay, let's have a little look. So the stairs there, what do they go to? Absolutely nothing. Okay. Oh, what? That's our exit. So you're, so you're suggesting walking that plank? Uh, Are you yeah. afraid of heights? No. Okay. Oh, okay. 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 Oh, 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 oh. Oh God. Oh no. Careful. Careful. Okay. All right. Oh god. But what about Ilya? Okay. Oh god. 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 Run in the car. I think it's just gonna. Yeah. Okay. Down the stairs, down the stairs. Oh my god. Um Ilya. Uh. Okay. Um sorry. Whoa. Oh, okay. We killed it. The dog deserved it. It's bad. It's sinful. I think the there dog no kind of killed itself. Dogs. Only humans can sin. Tempted by the devil. And that dog, its humans left, stopped feeding it. So it became a matter of survival. Interesting. So what's the difference between a human and a dog? The thing you're blaming the devil for is as likely to happen to a human as it is to a dog. Oh my god. It gets angry when its food is taken away. It's ready to tear anyone apart if its possessions are threatened. A dog gets sad if its beloved human is not around. It gets jealous, anxious, even sodomy as possible. Oh god. Remember that one time when Georgie... That's different. He needed to survive. To find the most promising partner to give birth to offspring. And a human? You have such a simple explanation for a dog. But how come humans can never do without divine or devilish intervention? I mean, it looks like it might be a rabbit or something, maybe? Ooh, horrible thing, though. Ugh. That took a little bit of doing, not gonna lie. Finally, the station. <sighs> Does a dog have a soul? Dogs adore their masters. Is that even possible without a soul? Does one need a soul to feel love? Is it possible to love without a body? What remains if you deprive a dog of a body? Yes, How dogs can it have love souls. Something there you it go. Can't hear or sniff? 
How can it remember someone it loves if it loses its brain with its memories? In a world without bones, cold, procreation, beautiful women, rich men, bodies, basically, passion, kindness, love. Can any of it exist without the body? For a dog. What? Uh, yes. F for a dog. Yes, dogs have souls. All animals have souls. Come on now. All right. Resurrection of Christ. Jesus Christ, thou hast risen from the dead and given life upon this world. We have witnessed thy resurrection, our Lord. All right. Take that. Thank you. Anything else in here? Careful, Ilya. This floor's a little dodge. My, uh, my travelling companion. Step out the way, thank you. Oh. Boop. There we go. Um, I don't actually need the lantern, I've just realised. Is there anything else here? Wow! Look at those icicles! Can we break them? No. <laughs> First thing I go to, can I break it? Probably not. Uh, is this just another bench for us to sit on here? Yeah. Wow. Wow. I can't imagine how cold her hands would be. Because she's got no gloves on. And she's got this thin... Um, they call it a habit. I think they do, don't they? I think it's called a nun's habit. Nothing else yet, by the looks of it. No. Alright. I know they say points don't matter, but well. Uh, I'm curious beyond measure. Let's see if there's anything. Plus, it's, you know, it's fun finding collectible things. What's this? Maybe the crane could move it. Hmm. What's this, a book? In aid for the repentant, a confession is a sacrament, an ardent repentance of the heart, a thirst for cleansing that comes from feeling something sacred. It is a second baptism, which means that in repentance we die in the eyes of sin and resurrect in the light of holiness. Oh, I didn't realise we could turn these things. Okay. Well, hey. Can we eat now? See, always worth a look. You never know what you might find. Bottles of booze there. Lovely. Huh, so a crane. The crane. We need the crane. How do we How do we get around there? Maybe this way? Ilya's on the case. He is on the case, bless him. What's in here? Oh. Okay. Nothing in here. No. Why is there no... If this is like a train station, why are there no people here? Train stations are usually pretty, um... Pretty busy, are they not? Um... If this thing still works, it's a miracle. Alright, so... I'll put this to turn it on. And then... Um... So that move that. Can we... How can I detach the load? Hmm, yes. Gotta figure it out. Why figure it out? It works anyway, right? Look, there's a platform on the other side. Ah, do we have to get through here? Oh, hold on. Is that what we have to do? What are you doing? Shush. Ilya, I'm, I'm doing something here. Watch it! Shush. Hmm. Ah. 
Ah, there we When's are. When's the next train? What if it's tomorrow? The station must have the schedule. What's the point? I, I don't think it's going to stop here. So what do we do? Have you read Mark Twain? Tom Sawyer? Yes. So... I like it. Me too. Okay. Can't go that way. We just trashed a load of stuff for the sake of it, but do you know what? That's fine. It was fun. Didn't realise we had to smash all the boxes. Look at this crazy one. She's crazy. Oh wait, I know. Watch it. I suppose we have to come down that side or this side. This'll do. Alright, come on, Elliot. Sorry about the uh, the ride, mate. It was a little um, rough. I fully acknowledge that, but well. Oh god! Scared the life out of me. That one. That one. Let's jump. What? Jump! Oh! Okay, that can't have been a gentle landing. Your ideas are so strange, for a nun. Those aren't my ideas. I mean, I didn't choose the monastery life. Were you sent there against your will or something? Not against my will. I mean, when you're 15, the monastery isn't really a dream destination. No. There was no other way. Sometimes there are circumstances. You have a choice with a monastery. Or... Circ circumstances? You, you were 15. And now you're like an angel of God, even though you're black all over. I, 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 I mean, you're close. You're close to black. Fallen as far as not, I not anything else? Fallen? How? Yellow, yellow ticket or something? What? Known have, you, have you been married? No, never. Why am I even explaining myself to you? Yellow ticket. Another word for obviously what we're talking about. Father, get some sleep. Tomorrow is a big day. Sava Ilyich is coming to make his official proposal. Ah. Uh, so somebody did propose. Look, it's such a starry night, but one star is missing. I'm waiting for you on the roof. Ah. But she loved somebody else, maybe? Okay, so let's just, yeah. Oh. Oops. So do we need to... Okay. Oh, God. Can we stand on that? No. Oh! Crumbs. God. I can tell I'm not much of a platform gamer. Good grief. Oh. Ah, we get knocked off it. I see. I see. I see. I see. OK. 
Okay, what's... Can we go down here? Oh. Never mind, never mind, never mind. Okay, are we supposed to... Hey, there we go. Come on up. Ah, our mysterious stranger. Who is it, I wonder? Indica. You... You! Where's Sava? Mirko. I don't know any Sava. Oh. Ah, Indica. Indica. You sh I should have known. One star is missing, so corny. Where's my bike? Mirko, listen, something happened. You're not going to believe me. Indica, thief! Scumbag! Indica, what is that melody? Mirko, I wrote it. Indica, you're lying again. Mirko, I'm not. Wrote it that evening when I met you. Pass off. Oh, are we there? Where are we going? Oh, this is the Spassoff Fish Factory. Ooh. I think nobody's there now. That's good. The line to the city's always open. How do you know all this? Have you worked there? Wasn't he born here? My mum worked there. What is this cold? Didn't you say there was no one here? Oh, fuck. Fuck, I think they're floating. Be quiet. Is it coal or something else? <coughs> oh, that stench. <laughs> Disgusting. Oh, that smell. Reminds me of my mother. She could never wash it off, no matter how she tried. What is it? Like, is it fish eggs or something? And she was shy about it. Whenever she had to go to the store or was summoned to my school, she she used some unbearable perfume. It would tickle my fucking nose whenever she hugged me. Where is she now? I, I don't know. Where'd he go, up or down? Did he go down? How do we get in there? Hmm. Maybe at a later point we'll be able to. I think Ilya went up, didn't he? I'll keep our lantern out just in case. Ah! Can we get down it this way? Hey! I like it! I know it's silly. The Ladder of Divine Ascent. This ladder was witnessed by Saint Jacob as he lay resting on his ascetic bed. Let us embark with zeal and faith on this heavenly ascension that begins with the shame we feel before God and ends with chastity. All right. Look at that! Hey! 
Yay! Okay, so shame eight. Every time you get points, you gain an extra eight. Guilt five. Gain ten extra points right now. That's fine. Okay. I, I don't know what that does for us, but... Must do something, eh? Eventually. All right. Continuing on. I'm glad we found that. Like I say, I know it's a little silly, but these things might might come in useful. You never know. Oh god, this looks terrifying, doesn't it? Whoa! Like a okay. It's like a big oven. Oh my god. Um. Okay, well. Okay. Oh my god. Okay. Okay. Oh! Alright. Okay. Okay. Oh god. Okay. Okay. Whoa. All the way to the end. Whoa! To there. To there. To there. Oh, can we get off? Can we get off? Yes! Oh, thank god for that. Bloody hell. Well, that was both. Can we turn our light on? No, can't turn our light on. Um, where did Ilya go? He just vanished. Whoa, that's a big fish. So I take it we need to kind of... Okay. No. Avoid that thing like the plague. My god, can we open this? No. Uh, can we... No. So now do we just need to go across? Around or something? I think. I assume we just go round? Let's go round again. Oh, it stinks in here. Fish dryer. Ugh, stinky. I fell off that so many times, by the way, doing that sequence. Ugh. Nearly rage quit. Never mind. Oh, another one? Not again. Oh, hey, Ilya. You alright, man? Can I not put my light on? No. Um, is this one in the dark now? Okay, maybe. Maybe we just. Yep. Yeah. Um, oh, my. Oh, no. Oh, no. Okay, there's, whoa, there's water here? Ah, oh, but it stinks as well, it'd be stinky water. <sighs> stinky cold water, maybe? Oh, exactly what we need. Oh, oh, all right. Arm, though. That's messed up, man. You ain't for me. Take everything off. Are you crazy? If we don't get everything dry, we'll freeze to death. Oh, there you go. He's put a curtain up. Oh dear. You have no idea how nice it feels to take my wimple off. My wimple? head's so itchy all the time. Oh, is that what the head thing's called? Oh. We're not even allowed to sleep without it. It's not like anything anyone will see you. Nadine walks around all night checking on us. Really? It's just like the screws in the clink. 
Mardine is more like a warden. She also manages the coin and assigns our bunks. And... Oh, well, there you go. Asleep. Oh, no peeking. <gasps> Was she peeking? Sorry. Sorry, but the smell from your arm is unbearable. We have to go. When words are many, sin is not lacking. Proverbs 10.19. There you go. And we're dry again. And fully, fully clothed in our nun's attire. But we will leave it there for today, folks. After that rather um, uncomfortable scene, should we say? Uncomfortable scene. Maybe Indica was peeky-peeking. Maybe he was peeky-peeking. No peeking. <laughs> So until next time, be safe, be good, and do look after yourselves.